everybody, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Sorry I haven't been around lately. I have been really <clears throat> swamped with my other operation in the last week or so, but that's a good thing because a couple days can end up paying more than uh, 30 days of non-stop videos does. Get back on your feet a lot faster. But I wanted to take a moment and just do a brief recap on a couple things that I want I had further thoughts about or um, maybe they've been kind of spread out across a couple videos so I picked out a couple specific things to kind of give you some updates on uh, and I don't remember if I first showed this on a live stream I don't think it did I think it was uh, it was more like a box opening but I do got this um, Tough Possum messenger bag. I don't know if it's called a messenger bag or not, but uh, it's about yay big. It's not. It's not too big, and I've been using this for certain things. Really like it. If I, if I'm carrying a lot of stuff out to the woods, I might use one of my. If I'm filming, carrying a lot of stuff, I'm using my big Sabra pack. If I'm filming and carrying a couple things. I'm using my Hidden Woodsman pack, but going around just doing the stuff that I do that's not involved with filming, this is generally what I've been carrying, and it's just the right size. I do like the I do like the buckle system, the way he's got it, because it's like a fixed it's like a fixed loop right there instead of having a whole big strap down here, and that loop moves up and down. I don't know if you can see that. So this is fixed. And if you want to pull it down tighter, you just run it through there. But it is it's a pretty cool buckle too. There's not a lot that you actually get to see with this. But I have shown like um, the other thing that I got, which is this little medical pouch with the reflective tape. Showed in a few videos. But yeah, check him out on Instagram. If you want to check out his work tough possum gear and then I threw the couple things in here that I wanted to talk about <clears throat> the main thing being I'm waiting on uh, some of the larger power stations people wanted to see like all of a sudden they started contacting me because knives knives are pretty much dead you know the, the unless it's work tough gear or trade those <laughs> those are pretty easy to get but um yeah, I've been ha having some luck getting through to some of the power station companies and different brands, and that's a good thing because we needed some variety there. But I, re I did a video on this not that long ago. I, it's I-N-I-U. I can't really pronounce it that well. <laughs> but I want to come back. You now, this is not like a full almost year like I did on that other one. It's a couple months. But I will say that one of the things that I love best about this pack besides that it's it's really um, it's got plenty of juice to it is the one the port that you also use for charging what I can see if I can see this very tiny print yeah this it's got a 65 watt and a 30 watt USB-C port. So the 65 watt will charge your phone faster than anything. Now, <clears throat> Bobby Electronics out there is going to pipe in and be like, "Speed charging your battery is not good for it." And blah, 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 blah. if you do it over and over and over and over again, look, you don't always need to super fast charge your phone. Obviously, it's the phone has got a set. When the phone's got a setting in it that pops up and you plug it in, it says super fast charging activated. You know, call me a conspiracy theorist, but that tells me that they had super fast charging in mind when they made the phone. Either which way, if it's not a big crucial thing, yeah, you'd use a use the other 30 watt port. Uh, some, or another one go slow but sometimes you need to get your stuff topped off fast 
and that's where this thing comes in. USB-C, double USB-C cords always transfer power a lot faster, but this one with that 60 watt, 65 watt out port is great, and I've had no problems with this brand, this unit so far, using it a lot. So this uh, INIU, however you pronounce that, definitely a brand to check out. They do have some other ones that are not as big and thick as this. If you want something a little bit less expensive or a little bit more compact but in your but yeah I wanted to throw something out about that <clears throat> also this uh, you could say I added a little bit of flair uh, to this one but this uh, Wubin X2 flashlight I really do like this one I this has been like my go-to. I've been using, you know, all the lights that I got, but as far as the cool factor, the compact nature of it, and this being able to chuck out 2,500 lumens on high, really, really like this one. This is one of the more pricier ones as far as flashlights go, because it's right around 100 bucks, but they do tend to have a lot of uh, sales and things like that as well <clears throat> it's in my pocket here somewhere that other woman I just uh, reviewed I'm liking that one too even though it can be a little bit weird it's a small right angle one I'm supposed to be getting that other one the small EDC one that has the dock charger and the head turns around that should be coming anytime now but I've been pretty impressed with this brand the big one uh, that's a little on the heavy side and it's kind of a special thing it's kind of like I know I'm going out at night in the dark and I want the brightest freaking light possible that can still fit in the holster on my belt but it's not like something like you're gonna be using all the time so this is more of like that small compact one that uh, can still light things up a lot more than your typical stuff does <clears throat> and I'll be doing some more like short updates on things that I've already reviewed in the last month or two but definitely wanted to give a give a shout out to this bag you just haven't seen it as much because you know if you if you're seeing me it's because I'm filming if I'm filming I'm generally carrying a, a particular setup and this is something that I'm using when I'm not filming so that's a really nice bag, that's a really nice charger, and that's a really nice freaking flashlight. So, <clears throat> should be getting some more stuff here um, pretty soon, and I gotta check, I gotta I need to check with Work Tough Gear and see what things are dropping next uh, that I might already have on hand that I need to do, uh, do videos for to let you know that they're dropping. But uh, other than that, I wanted to just pop back in here, tell you I'm still alive. Um, but I got pulled over to doing my other work, and that generally takes precedence when that comes up. <clears throat> but, mm, yep, yeah, we're still here. Still doing stuff. Still alive. All right, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you figure out what we're going to give away next month. So far, we've given away two work tough gear knives, famine, and a black JXV. I'd like to get something different, but I do still have a lot of them. So we shall see what it's going to be. All right, see you next time.